Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from GeekSmart. This is their model number L-B201 fingerprint door lock, and this is a one-touch fingerprint door lock. Uh, this is good for your interior doors, such as maybe your office uh, and, or a room that you don't want the kids to get into. Uh, we're going to take a look at this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get once you get it out of the box. You're going to get some documentation here, a warranty card from GeekSmart. Uh, and if you do need help, you can scan this QR code. And they do have an installation video on this uh, up on YouTube. So you can check it out if you would like to. Uh, you do get a user manual for the L-B201. It's going to show you all the things that you're supposed to get in the box, which we're going to go over now. It's well laid out. It's written in English, uh, so you shouldn't have any problems understanding understanding this. Now this door uh, knob here is going to be pretty simple to install. We're just going to go over everything that we get in the box just so that you know uh, what you're going to get. Uh, we do have some mounting hardware here uh, for uh, your door bracket and th uh, that's easy to use here, no problems whatsoever. Get all the screws and everything for everything in one bag, uh, so you don't really have too much there, but easy to use. Uh, now, obviously, this is gonna go inside your door. Uh, you're gonna peel off this protective layer here, and you can adjust this um, from 60 millimeters to 70 millimeters, depending on your specific door. So you can line this up to fit uh, the pre-cut door hole in your door uh, no problems whatsoever uh, easy uh, peasy as they say to get this all set up and done now they do uh, give us our door handles here and they do also give us a, a USB to micro USB cable because you can plug that in in case the batteries in the door handle uh, actually run out on you. You can use something like a power bank uh, just to turn it on and uh, you know utilize your fingerprint here. There is your fingerprint reader. This is going to be on the outside obviously of your door. Uh, so you're going to use something like your thumb or maybe your forefinger but probably your thumb is going to be the main one for unlocking here. Now you can see that you do have a ribbon cable that sticks out. This will pass through and connect to the interior side of the door handle as well. And on this door handle here, we do have a little reset hole here. That is going to be for setting up your fingerprints, and I'll show you how to do that. And then there's a mode button as well right there. You can leave it to always open if you want, or you can set it back to auto lock as well. Now, in the handle itself of the interior side, you're going to unscrew this and you're going to be able to fit in four AAA batteries. And they should last you about 10 to 12 months, depending on your use. Uh, again, if you run out of power on the outside, you do have that micro USB slot there. Now, also, you have keys, physical keys, uh, for this side, uh, and you can use those in case you run out of power. If you don't have the keys close uh, or they're somewhere else, uh, you do, on the opposite side, have that USB port where you can use something like a power bank. Now, you do get two of these uh, gaskets to go over to protect your door as well. Now, that pretty much covers everything in the unboxing. I'm going to do a quick install. I'm not going to go over the install. It's very simple to do, and then we'll take a look at the usage. Okay, so now I've got it installed. Uh, you can see that I cannot open it from the outside. It does not move until I use my fingerprint there. Uh, so what we're going to do is reach around behind and insert the reset pin to add our fingerprint. Add administrator fingerprint. Please place your finger. Please place your finger again. 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 Addition success. Now, once you register your first two fingerprints as admin fingerprints, you can do up to 18 more for a total of 20 fingerprints total. Now, 
Now they've added in a couple of special features in here, one including if you run out of battery power and you don't have your keys on you, there is a micro USB port and you'll just have to tilt it down and insert your micro USB cable that is included. And you can use something like a power bank here. And what will happen is the power bank will power the unit long enough for you to uh, use your fingerprint and get inside the door. So that's an excellent little backup feature just in case you do run out of batteries and don't happen to have your physical keys on you. Now, of course, there's always the physical key. You can have this in a lockbox or somewhere. You can see it right on the end of the handle. Uh, if you uh, do run out of power and you just want to use the physical key, you can just insert it here and uh, turn it just like you would a regular lock, and then you can open the door and get inside. So you do have two backup ways in case uh, you have an issue with your fingerprint or you happen to run out of power. So there you go, that's my review of the Geeksmart L-B201 fingerprint door lock. This is a great thing to have if you want to use this inside your house, maybe to lock up your office, or if you have an apartment, you maybe want to lock up uh, your bedroom door or something like that. This would work out really, really well. It's a very simple install, basically two screws uh, to get it installed. Uh, it's not hard at all. Almost anybody can do it. And there is a, a YouTube video on a Geek Smart website that shows you the exact install. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.